Hi, it's Faceless Tech. What have we got today? Well, this is a very kind of basic ish project that kind of just ha happily coincidentally worked out. Um, in the previous video, I made a um, adapter so you can use a NES uh, controller on your um, whatever your Windows computer or your Raspberry uh, RetroPie builds. But then I kind of had a bit of a brainwave and thought, oh, why not? I do I actually just make my own controller? Because otherwise, you have to dig out the NES controller and then plug it in. And then, um, you know, it hasn't got that many buttons. So I thought, I wonder how many pins, digital pins, the Arduino Pro Micro has got. Luckily, it's got 12, 12 pins. So you can have the uh, D pad, the ABXY, Start, Select, and LNR. And you just have enough pins. There is enough, there is. Uh, four analog pins, so you could have two analog sticks as well if you wanted to. But maybe I'll do that in a uh, rev of this board. Um, it's very basic. This is just literally just a Leonardo uh, Leonardo clone hooked up to these new um, SMD buttons that I found. That are quite nice actually, because unlike um, these buttons, which are um, soft touch buttons, like non-clicky. The, these ones kind of have like a fixed travel to them because these are the ones kind of a bit they, they, they don't they kind of like if you don't get hit them straight on they kind of like mash to the side and they don't they aren't as reliable as these these are quite these are actually quite reliable um, I've hooked it up to my uh, retro pie build here this is this is the actual screen um, PCB that I'd left over from my um, bauble build my last build uh, I'll just give you a quick demonstration of this one in on the screen when it loads. And there you go. Uh, and it just, it just this this controller just comes up as like a Leonardo uh, Arduino when you connect it, you know, to configure inputs on your uh, VectorPi build. So it does just come up. It does. It should work on Windows as well, but I've not tried it out yet. And as you can see, it does work. Um, I probably might do a re revision of this board with some um, PSP uh, analog sticks if I can get them to work with it. Um, but all I've done is um, also what I've done because on this on this board for the LNR buttons, I was using these um, clicky 90 degree buttons, which are quite nice, but the, the ink, un inconsistent from the rubber buttons um, but I wanted all the buttons to be all the same because I used different ones for these, different ones for them, different ones for them but with these I was trying to come up with a brainwave of how to um, mount them 90 degrees so I come up with a little tiny PCB that mounts the buttons and then routes the two uh, pins on the side to a 90 degree um, <clears throat> male headers that you just put through and then you just solder to the board and surprisingly, it actually works quite well. And it doesn't. There's no um. Um, you, you put the pressure on it. Doesn't doesn't bend or anything. It's quite. It does coincidentally worked out pretty well. Um, I also used the same PCB on the front and the back, just as like to make it a bit of a. Um, just with some uh, M3 standoffs, and I put the Arduino in the middle, um, because the blinding lights. You don't want them blinding you. You can see how bright bright they are. And they do flash when you press the button, so you don't want them. So it is kind of like out the way, and it is quite comfortable, even though it's quite small and boxy. It is actually quite a comfortable um, thing, and you can just plug any USB uh, cable in you want. So you can have like a longer cable if you want, uh, get like a two or three meter long cable. You know, if you're having it hooked up to your telly or whatever. It is. Um, I'm quite actually quite pleased with it, and it was quite cheap. Um, this was with um, JLC PCB, so it was a really cheap build. But yeah, this is. Um, I also wanted to try these button layouts for my next project which is going to incorporate the screen, these buttons and also um, the stuff I've learned from using this power bank power bank board that I used in my um, zero boot system. So hopefully all together combined will make my next project which is hopefully going to be a RetroPie uh, handheld of some kind. Um, so yeah, watch the space. As usual, uh, blog post in the description with uh, GitHub files with the board files for the 90 degree um, boards which are like, I think they cost me like 40p I think for Mosh Park. They were actually, when I first designed them, they were actually too small so I had to make them slightly bigger um, to fall in there. Uh, minimum I think it's quarter inch by quarter inch um, spec for their things but yeah, really cheap build and uh, yeah hopefully um, it might inspire someone to make their own wacky controller because you could 
hook the buttons up in any configuration you want really. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.